We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for this special report. Coming on the heels of the firing of Charlie Rose new allegations are coming forward about a powerful male in the seasonal entertainment industry. Former Santa Claus employee Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer took to Twitter and MySpace to recount an encounter that he claims occurred in 1982 involving his then-boss, Santa Claus and two other powerful media personalities. Four elves, claiming to have had contemporary knowledge of the events have come forward to support Rudolph. Santa held a press conference where he explicitly denied these claims as categorically untrue. I don't care what Rudolph says. He knew what he was signing up for when he came to Aspen and got in that hot tub with me, Harvey Weinstein and Al Franken. This isn't a case of harassment. It was the 80s and this was three consenting adults and a reindeer. Oh dear boys and girls, it looks like Santa's in trouble. He made an outright denial. Whatever will Santa Claus do? Will there be a Christmas? Stay tuned to find out if you're going to have a strange man with a beard come into your home in the middle of the night this year, or if it will just be a drunken adult passed out in a corner having cried themselves to sleep over their credit card debt. Cusperland, the most hellacious theme park in hell, is celebrating hell on earth, and you're invited. Enjoy the parks, the rides, the shopping, more shopping, gift shops, and more shopping, and our after-hours adults-only clubs at Abomination Island. Not yet sick of the sight of your family members? Still want to spend time with the kids after doing the death march through the parks? Visit the after-hours celebration at the Geopolitical Village, which is transformed into our nightly spectacular, the Circus of the Damned. Enjoy all the rides and then gather to watch the Nuclear Winter Parade with Laser Light Show at the North or South Korean pavilions. Because at Cusperland, we don't want you to just enjoy hell for the holidays. We want you to enjoy it all year long. And now back to... Hell for the Holidays, presented with limited commercial interruption by Cusperland, the most hellacious park in hell. I normally don't handle cases like yours. You see, being a reputation management specialist I am judged by my track record. Which means when I do my job people say, hey, isn't she the woman that took that piece of crap singer who beat his girlfriend and made him a household heartthrob? I remember her. She was the one who helped that drunken pop star out who went on a racist rant that went viral and made her the poster girl for recovery and facing repressed childhood traumas. And do you know why they point at me and say that? Because I take despicable, self-centered pieces of crap who commit career suicide and transform them into likable, relatable, stars that every self-involved narcissistic, conspicuous consumer can relate to. Give me an angry actress who throws firebombs in the press claims feminist credibility and then defends an accused rapist because he's her friend. That is my kind of assignment. I can take her and make her even more famous than she already is and make anyone who dislikes her, her hypocrisy or just thinks she is a crappy actress the bad guy. If you are a woman and don't like her, you are a traitor to your gender, if you are a man who doesn't like her, you are another violent misogynistic prick who will be the first one up against the wall when the revolution comes. But there are some cases I just don't handle. In the fall of 2014 I get a call from a Canadian radio broadcaster who's facing an avalanche of accusations and I say, thanks, but no thanks. It was an absolute loser. Then in the summer of 2015 I get a call from a comedian who's looking down the barrel of a full-blow criminal indictment. I said, hey, dude, please lose my number. And now... Now it is damn near impossible to change the narrative of one of these accused allegations, true or not. Come out as gay. Claim you were drunk. Do an not apology followed by an apology. Forget about it. So when I was offered your reputation problem I really hesitated and frankly if there weren't a ton of money tied up in you I'd have told them to screw off. But you've been around forever and honestly, I'm getting paid either way. So now that I've made it clear as to where we stand do you have anything to say? Yeah, that damn Rudolph is lying his ass off. He came to Aspen, he got into the pool with me, Harvey Weinstein and Al Franken. He took off his speedo and everything was consensual. Wrong answer Santa baby. Doesn't matter what the truth is. This ain't about the truth. This is about perceptions. And right now you are the poster boy for a four-way with a reindeer. The mental image alone caused a 20% drop in Black Friday sales. So we are going to have to do something radical here. We are going to have to send you someplace where you will stand out in a positive light. Where did you have in mind? Have you ever considered the opportunities hell has to offer? Oh dear, I wonder what she meant by that. Stay tuned to find out. 
In 2018, we're having a party and you're invited. As the Hell on Earth party winds down because you've clearly created Hell on Earth, we have another hell of a party planned and this one is to celebrate the 120th birthday of our founder, Cusper Lynn. The genius behind the Cusperland theme parks, Cusperland Studios, and joint founder with Mr. Starman of the Exploit Me Now TV network. Cusper was tragically lost to us in September of 1963. Suffering from a then incurable disease, Cusperland, under investigation by Congress for his work with the Kennedy administration's covert operations, was cryogenically frozen until a cure could be found. But he remained active in the company's day to day operations, appearing regularly with the touring company Cusperlin on Ice Skating Show, which was renamed in 1980 to the Cusperland on Ice Show. Thankfully, the progress of medical science and civilization allowed Cusperlin to be successfully thawed in 1998, when shame was no longer a terminal condition, and when background levels of shamelessness were compatible with life for Cusper. Now, after a long proxy fight, Cusper's back, leading us into the 21st century, and we're celebrating 120 years of Cusperland and Cusperlin. So make 2018 the year that you join the party that is breaking out in hell. And now we return for the conclusion of Cusperlin's Hell for the Holidays, presented with limited commercial interruption. I'm sorry as hell about the whole reindeer games and I'm sorry as hell for what I did to Rudolph. It wasn't right and I have decided to atone by spending some time in hell. Which means you can find me here, working in a Cusperland kiosk, in the heart of hell at the Cusperland Resorts and Entertainment Center, serving you a loyal friends and guests, or as we like to call you here, the damned. So, when you take your next trip to hell and stay at the fabulous Cusperland Resort and Theme Park, the most hellacious theme park in hell, drop by and visit your old friend Santa Claus. Not only can I offer you excellent discounts for all of our parks, Abomination Island and the Lake of Fire Water Park, I can get you a sweet deal on me every damn thing passes, discounts on Cusperland toys, clothes and art. I can also get you three nights free accommodations with park passes for just visiting our Cusperland condos and timeshares. Some restrictions do apply because at Cusperland we want you, our guest the damned, to have a very Cusperland day and remember, hell isn't just for the holidays, it's forever. This has been a message from your friends at the Church of the Third Day Existentialists who would like to remind you we don't preach hell as it has been a commercial enterprise since the beginning of civilization and would prefer you focus on being kind, ethical, and compassionate to yourself and others. But if you do go to hell on your next holiday we would like you to swing by Cusperland and get us a couple of the Cusperland Park t-shirts. I wear a women's medium and the right reverend rocket man wears a large and prefers blue. Sir Santa baby. Have you ever considered the opportunities hell has to offer?